Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss a very important concept of area. Now, let us just try to understand a few situations that you come across in your day-to-day -day life. Let us say that you want your house to be painted or you want a particular wall of your house to be painted. How are you going to calculate the paint required? You need to see how much is the region that the paint has to be applied to. So you need somehow need to be able to measure that region where you have to apply paint. Let us take another example. Uh, there is a new house which is being constructed and uh, when you are constructing a new house you have to put in the tiles. You have to put the tiles on the floor. How do you find out how much tiles are required? So that tiles required are going to be based on the region that is covered by your house. The third example is that a farmer he wants to sow seeds. Okay, He wants to sow seeds in his field and how is he going to decide it that how much seeds does he need to cover the region occupied by the whole field. Now these are the three scenarios that I gave you where we are interested in measuring or giving a number to the region that is occupied by the some figures or some objects. And if you just have a look at this examples, the four examples that I've shown here, it will be more clearer. So we, we can just have a look at the region occupied by the closed figures. So I have just colored and uh, you can see that in figure one, which is like an oval shape. So this is the region that is occupied by this part and the region that is occupied by this is here. So this let's call this figure 1a and let's call this figure 1b. So here it is very clear that the figure 1b occupies less region as compared to figure 1a. Similar is the case for figure 2. For figure 3 we have rectangles. So let us say that this is 3b and this is 3a and I can say that the figure 3a occupies more region this is a closed figure and it is occupying more region than as compared to the figure 3b and similarly is the case for figure 4. So this is where the concept of area comes into the picture that is people just said that okay when we want to measure the region that is occupied by closed figures we will find out a way to measure it and we will call it as area. So that is what is precisely an area is. It is nothing but the region occupied by closed figures. Now once we understood that we need an area, okay, the second question that comes is how do, how, how do I measure area? Now measurement simply means putting a number. Measurement means putting a number to it. We need to get some number. So how am I going to measure this area? How do I put a number to this? Is there a way to put a number to this? There is a way and that way is something like this. So what we have done is we have taken this rectangle whose area whose area we want to find out or we want to measure the area of this rectangle and put it on a square grid. Now you see this grid? Now this grid is made up of small squares which is one centimeter by one centimeter. So it's just made up of small squares and I just superimpose it and just for the sake of convenience what we did is we tried to align the borders of our rectangle al along the squares in this grid. That's what we have done. So now I think how to measure area is somehow getting clearer to you. So what we do is we simply measure the number of squares that are occupied within this figure. So now we can just start counting and I can just write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 8 squares and when I go down 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we have 8 columns and 5 rows and therefore if I want to find out the num total number of squares total squares squares 
within the rectangle is equal to 4 5 times 8 or which is nothing but 40 squares 40 squares okay so we have so so essentially what we have done is we have just calculated the area in terms of smaller number of squares now again the question that might come to is why it is one centimeter by one centimeter can I not make it small yes you can make it small as well but then this is one of the problems is what do you want the size of the squares to be and it depends on the object that you are measuring since here we are measuring a small rectangle and centimeters seem to be an appropriate size now it could be possible that there is a huge football field how do you measure that obviously you are not going to measure it in centimeters it is good that you measure that in meters and therefore in that case working with numbers becomes easier so one of the key things that you should keep in mind is when we decide the size of the squares it depends on the size of the object being measured so for example if you are measuring the area of countries then you will find out it will be mostly in kilometer square or some thousand kilometer square that is the way so it is it is a bigger unit and when you are measuring smaller things it could be in the uh, in, in centimeter squares or even if you go for smaller objects which are not visible by the eye in that case we use even smaller units of squares so we learned that we can measure area by just counting I mean by superimposing the object on an imaginary grid of squares and just counting how many squares are within the rectangle so essentially we are just finding out these small squares and therefore the unit of area okay the unit of area is square units square units where this unit depends on centimeter or meter so in our case it should be 40 square centimeter that is 40 so, so so this figure here it occupies 40 centimeter squares that is one one centimeter by one centimeter squares such 40 type of squares it occupies so now let us just quickly summarize our discussions on area area is the amount of surface enclosed by a closed figure that is known as area now the key question that we pondered is how do we measure area so what the solution that we came up with to measure area is to imagine that the closed figure is made up of squares of small size okay or we can superimpose the figure on a a grid in which is made up of squares of small size so in order to do this we trace the boundary of a closed figure on a squared paper or a graph paper and then we count the number of squares that are enclosed by the boundary of this closed figure the size of the squares depends on the size of the shape being measured and this is also one of the points that we discussed it depends on how big the shape is and on that basis we will uh, the imaginary grid that we think the size of that becomes bigger or smaller so that was our discussion on a very important concept in our day-to-day -day lives which is that of area and why we measure the area in square units see you soon with more ideas on area